Hey everybody, World War Boy here, and uh, today's video, as you can already tell by the title, is going to be part one of our Civil War artillery shell um, shrapnel cleaning. Um, there will be a part two, and I'll probably be uploading it um, this Monday or Tuesday, one of those days, hopefully, um, because I have to go this Monday and pick up the pieces uh, from the seller. Um, but today's going to be part one. We only got three pieces here, and... Um, uh, these are going to be pretty fun, I think, to clean up um, and, you know, uh, preserve. Um, the the pieces I'm going to pick up this Monday, though, the, the it's going to be a lot longer video than this one. Um, you know, it, it's probably about seven or eight pieces, and a lot of them are really big. So it's going to take a while to clean them up and coat them in, uh, you know, everything. Uh, but for now, we're just going to work with these three pieces. These are the three pieces that I got at the Civil War show, as you may have noticed uh, if you watched the previous video. Um, but just to kind of recap, these are all just, um, you know, uncleaned, uh, either artillery shell or cannonball shrapnel pieces from the American Civil War. Um, you know, like, for example, this one is from the base of an artillery shell. You can see the sharp angle there where it would have been, um, you know, flat on the bottom. And then this one is my favorite piece. Um, as it's, you can see there, where the fuse would have, the brass fuse would have been uh, screwed in. You can see the threads there. So I'm hoping I'll be able to clean those threads up pretty nicely. Um, uh, but before we start cleaning them, I'm actually going to weigh them, just so we can see, you know, roughly how much rust we actually remove so I'll cut my scale on, and I'll weigh it in uh, grams first. All right, so for our before, we have around 746 grams. Then if we convert that to uh, ounces... Then we have one pound and ten and three eighths ounces. All right, well, now that we got everything weighed up, we can finally start cleaning these pieces. Uh, now, there's a lot of ways you could um, clean and preserve iron relics. You could um, do electrolysis, you could use a hot wax treatment, or you could do what I'm going to do and use uh, boiled linseed oil. I always use boiled linseed oil um, for cleaning, well not cleaning, but preserving iron relics, because I've never used electrolysis or a hot wax treatment, um, but I always use boiled linseed oil. Um, it keeps it from rusting and it gives it a nice darker color with a uh, pretty nice shine. And, you know, it's a lot easier than those other two ways. Now, instead of using boiled linseed oil, you could also uh, paint on a rust converter onto these, which, of course, pre prevents them from rusting further. But uh, when you paint it on, it's almost like a purple, dark purple color. But as it dries, it turns into a very dark, shiny black, which looks really good. A lot of people that preserve uh, Civil War shells and Civil War cannonballs and whatnot um, we use a rust converter, uh, but they'll do electrolysis and stuff like that first. Uh, but for me, I just use boiled linseed oil. Pretty much all I'm going to be doing is taking, um, you know, some of these wire brushes, um, you know, maybe even the uh, toothbrush, and just cleaning up all this rust off of these. And I'm probably just going to, uh, like, speed up the footage so you don't have to sit through, you know, a long, boring video of me just scrubbing away at rust and debris, so I'll probably just go ahead and do that. Okay, well, we're done brushing, and you can see I've made an absolute mess here. Um, there's, you know, rust everywhere. That This isn't even half of, there's a lot more over here. And, uh, you can see, well, especially this hand, not so much this hand, but my hand is absolutely 
covered in uh, rust powder, rust dust. Um, but we did get the pieces uh, relatively clean. I know they may uh, not look as clean on camera, but in person they are a good bit more clean than they were uh, when I started with them. And they look a little bit better as is right now, but they will look uh, a lot better once I actually get them coated uh, in the linseed oil. Uh, but before we coat them in the linseed oil, I'm going to weigh them again and see how much rust we lost. All right, and for our after, we have 732 grams. And for our um, pounds and ounces, we have one pound still, and nine, and three fourths ounces. Which means we lost uh, around 14 grams of, uh, of rust in that uh, cleaning process. Anyway, without further ado, let's actually coat these pieces in linseed oil. I'm just going to take a red Solo cup and fill it up with just a little bit of linseed oil. You really don't need much for this. Um, you don't really want to go too overboard with it. Well, I've got our cup here filled up with some of our uh, linseed oil. But all I'm going to be doing is taking our pieces here and just dipping the end of this uh, rag into the linseed oil and just, you know, kind of painting a thin coat on. Alright, well, now that I got those coated in linseed oil, I'm just going to uh, let them sit there for a bit and let that uh, coating kind of dry, and then I'm just going to go back uh, with, you know, probably either the same rag or a new paper towel and just wipe off any excess and uh, clean them up just a little bit more. Yeah, I, I also got my hands uh, a lot more dirty with uh, the linseed oil. Alright, well now that it's been uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so, I'm going to wipe these off with uh, this rag, clean up the excess linseed oil. Well, here is the finished product. Uh, they look a lot better like this, in my opinion. Um, they'll be a lot better for display, of course, uh, cleaned up, rather than just having large chunks of rust uh, on my shelf. Uh, but I am really glad how these turned out. Um, like I said, these, these will be... Um, some good display pieces. I am uh, really looking forward to getting the other ones this weekend and making um, that video. So that will be up soon, hopefully. Um, of course, here you can see that the threads actually did turn out pretty good, in my opinion. They're, they're pretty noticeable there. Um, but in the next, uh, in, in part two, I may be trying electrolysis or a uh, hot wax treatment, I don't know. I have wanted to try both of those for a while, so um, I might try that and just see how it turns out. Maybe I'll compare, you know, uh, linseed oil versus electrolysis versus hot wax treatment, or I may do that in the future, who knows. But um, I'm really happy with how these turned out. Like I said, they look a lot more, uh, a lot better like this. Um, but again, can't wait for uh, part two, and I can't wait to go pick up the new pieces. So I'll see you all in that video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll uh, see you all in the next video.